Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. A couple of you have asked if you can run the older launcher apps like Launcher Pro and ADW Launcher on a phone running ice cream sandwich. That's a good question, so let's go take a look. <laughs> This is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It is running Ice Cream Sandwich, which is Android 4.0, and one of the main things that it comes new with is this new launcher. Now, what I mean by launcher is your home screens that holds your app shortcuts and your widgets, and also your app drawer, which in this case is this new horizontal paginated version, and it also has nice little previews of your widgets and a quick launch over to get to, to your market so you can well, buy or download new apps. So a few things we don't like about this, well this is kind of ubiquitous, it's everywhere and it doesn't need to be. The Google search bar, we've shown you in previous videos and articles how you can get rid of that, but it's not really ideal. Another launcher app can get rid of that easily for you and that's really what we're going to talk about today. Another thing people haven't liked is there's a little bit of lag here in switching screens, which just is kind of slow and not fluid. It still works, it looks nice, but for some of us we want to be able to speed that up. In the past we've also done that with custom launchers. Two custom launchers in particular, ADW Launcher and Launcher Pro. Now you'll notice this is the EX version. The EX version is a little bit higher end than the free ADW Launcher version, which by the way comes pre-installed as the default launcher on the majority of Cyanogen mod ROMs, at least the recent ones, and of course Launcher Pro that we like. So let's go ahead and take a look. There are really two questions here. One is can you run them, and two, does it look good on this larger screen? So let's answer both of those. ADW Launcher EX, you can see we have our stock search widget there, no more of the, uh, the ubiquitous, ubiquitous widget that kind of sits across the top. If you notice, I've got my nice little animations to, uh, to roll the screens in, and I can choose which transitions I want. It's no more of this uh, one size fits all. There isn't a grid to drop things on with the little plus signs, but if you can see the little blue highlight behind, ADW Launcher does its best to try and uh, imply that little grid. Not quite as smooth as the default ice cream launcher uh, or ice cream sandwich launcher, but it still does a good job. Your app drawer, you can change how it looks. I've set this to be a horizontal paginated, so it's very close to what the ice cream sandwich launcher is like, but still very fluid, very fast. You can customize what you have down here, and if we take a look at this, uh, we'll go ahead and put books out here you can even drop them together and make folders that look very, very much like the ice cream sandwich launcher folders. So very nice, very handy, very easy to use, and you have all of the benefits of ADW Launcher at your fingertips. You'll also notice you have a menu button down here so you can get into that and jump right into your settings, that's the system settings, or the ADW settings, which let you do a whole bunch of things. Let's go ahead, well, before we go to uh, Launcher Pro, if you notice, this is a much larger screen, but it works very, very well. Uh, there's no resolution problems or anything at all like that, so really cool. Let's go to Launcher Pro. Open this up, and of course, if we want to pick one by default, we put the checkbox right there to say use this for the default home action from now on. Since I'm showing you these, I'm not checking that, but you could do that. Launcher Pro also looks pretty much the same as what we're used to. It works well. You can theme your tray down at the bottom just like you could with other versions. Your app drawer is still very responsive. You don't have the widgets in it like you do with the uh, the Launcher Pro, but if you tap and hold, it's right there. It's the same thing that you're used to and accustomed to, and it works just great. Also, you've got the menu button down there at the bottom. So, not all of the benefits and all of the features that the new launcher from Ice Cream Sandwich has, but it's fast, it's slick, it's what you're used to, and really can do some other cool things like those page transitions when you're switching around on the home screen. 
Both of them work well on the larger 720p screen of the Galaxy Nexus, and both of them are fast and responsive. So I hope that's answered the question for you. Can older gingerbread or Froyo launchers work on an ice cream sandwich phone? Absolutely. Do they work on the larger screen size? Yes, they do as well. And I can only hope, and really I expect that both ADW Launcher and Launcher Pro will start adding in some of the new ice cream sandwich features that we've seen in the launcher and make their, uh, their launchers even better. One question's left to remain. We know that there's hardware acceleration behind ice cream sandwich. Is that hardware acceleration built into the launcher as well? Yes, it is. Is it built into Launcher Pro and ADW Launcher EX? I don't know. I wasn't able to find that answer out, so if you know, please let us know down in the comments. Of course, if you like seeing this kind of stuff, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, tell your friends about it, and head over to pocketnow.com so you can read the write-up on this video and see other articles and news all about not only Android, but other smartphones as well. For Pocket Now, showing off alternate launchers on Ice Cream Sandwich, I'm Joe Levi.